What's good, superstars? Back with another VV Omi video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the villain. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good. You? Massive burnage happening today. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post some VV Omi content. You can also become a superstar VIP to nine in a month. Chance to win a star in the universe. Every single month we do that giveaway. Shout out to superstar Steve win in the month of August. Um, you can also enter into any giveaways that we do, uh, gifting programs. The longer you hold on, the more entries you get just by becoming a VIP member, two ninety nine a month, two ninety nine a month, hitting that join button down below. Follow us on X, follow us on Instagram. You want to slide in the DMs. <laughs> We're open and uh, willing to talk to you guys at any point. Also, the Discord. Discord is the center, the hub of Web3. All projects uh, are integrated into our Discord where you can go and uh, check out what's going on in other projects, but also meet people who are participating in those projects, see what they love, what they hate about different projects, and see how it compares to your journey in Web3. Yeah, guys, Discord got the must-join Superstar Nation, over 380 members strong. Join the Discord. If you use any of our affiliate links, let us know in the discord we have chats specifically made for if you use our affiliate links let us know we'll give you stars for the superstar utility program yep okay so uh first we're going to start off with some vv news i mean we haven't done the news in a while but this is something that just came out uh not too long ago i think this post was 9 49 so a little over an hour ago our time um but uh this is something <laughs> that relates to something people have been asking for which is a response to this tweet from may 2nd from my collectibles he said what are some of your biggest legit questions for the vv team may 2nd obviously we've not heard anything in response to any of the questions on that post uh in four months here yeah so, so he says no go, go, ahead. go ahead no i was gonna i was gonna say um i think he doesn't in the actual post people immediately had an expectation well why are you asking this question they thought that you, they might under that post get responses but then quickly they realized that wasn't gonna be the case yeah, I mean, and I think to me, when I saw that, I thought that they were like maybe gathering questions to answer in maybe like a public forum or uh, have David or, or Dan or whoever from the team come out and address them maybe to help settle some uh, concerns or some speculation that maybe it wasn't good for the community sentiment. Um, but it seems like that's not the case. Maybe they're just collecting data of their own to use that for internal purposes. But uh at least that's how it sounds in this response because he followed up finally on this post which everybody's been waiting for everyone's waiting to hear what that post was about and why did he make it and then here is the follow-up wow great to see that the feedback <laughs> post i made in may is still getting a good amount of attention so people aren't forgetting that's what that line tells me um your amazing vv feedback and questions from this one single post have been long since processed and brought to the team and have been very instrumental in development and have contributed greatly in our ongoing community research. Thank you to everyone who took the time to contribute back then and also who continued to ask the important questions to this day. So that paragraph there tells me that they took the questions and internalized them and they're not planning to have any feedback responses. They just wanted to understand what are the hot topic items in the community? What are the things that people really want to uh, get answers to? This way they can prioritize maybe internally uh, what they're working on, but maybe this post here from MC was just to kind of give some closure to people. So people understand like, look, don't expect these answers because if you continue here, he says, we can't wait to share what's in store for the coming weeks and months. And we'll continue to monitor and gather your great insights, <laughs> new features, updates, and answers to questions will only be announced when ready. Rob, what do you yeah. think here? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be surprised if they told my collectible to go make that post and then he did it. And then they're like, watch, we're not, we're not going to answer any of the questions. We just wanted you to make that post. Uh, it wouldn't even surprise me if there was some kind of uh, miscommunication there. Um, now, I don't think they necessarily uh, owe the answers, but the consequences of that, because again, we always say they are a private company. They can do what they want. They literally just put a Twitter post and everyone expects them to answer the questions, but they have chosen not to, likely because they don't have a good answer. Otherwise, they would just answer the question. Um, but the longer they go not answering these questions, then they should not be complaining about the FUD, right? I mean, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. The definition of FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That will come as a consequence of not answering questions. It just comes with the territory. So, you know, they like, can let the FUD roam, roam free. Don't get mad about it. If you get mad about the FUD and you're doing nothing about it, then 
what you can't get mad about it, right? Because they can they can really, I think, tamper down the FUD and they can really help maybe control the narrative uh of of the whole Phoebe situation if they just start answering these questions, like for example, from that post directly, or some of the ones that we have, which is why not just answer the question? Maybe that's the number one question that needs to be answered. <laughs> Just why can't you answer the I, questions right now? <laughs> I think it was a misinterpretation from the community, maybe the way it was put out initially. Um, it should have said, like, what are the main things you want us to be working on? And that could have been the question. And then everybody would have been like, okay. But the way it was said, what's the biggest legit questions for the VV team? And then now we're saying questions will only be announced. Answers to the questions will only be announced when ready. That's the part I think that doesn't sit well with a lot of people. We see it in I the think... comments down below from Professor Vivi here. Um, he says, why would you ask the questions if you weren't going to answer them? It's been a minute, four months, and we still have to wait. People are getting frustrated with this. But to me, it's like as a company, as a, a team with a plan, no question should ever throw you off guard. You should always be able to answer a question. It might not be what everybody wants to hear, but by hiding from the questions or distancing yourself from the community, you continue to build that uncertainty that you and FUD is getting built because there's no answers from the team. There's no communication. There's no direct link. Um, and I think I think maybe the first question had to be rewarded as what are your hot topics that you want us to be working on rather than what are your questions? Because there's a lot of questions and there's been very, very little answers. I think the, a big problem here is that, and it's a really big problem, is that whether Vivi wants to admit it openly or not, and from what we can observe, a lot of their users have treated this as a financial product, right? Uh, a lot of their users, starting right back from the OMI token, they bought the OMI token thinking that the VV app, was, the basis of the VV app was going to be this OMI token, this crypto, and there's going to be all these burning mechanisms that's going to create scarcity and everyone's going to make money. And then Vivi themselves had their own wallets available for business development. And then they would have an interest in burning the token so that they can have financial benefits from increasing the OMI token. And that's what the point of an ICO is. People were buying ICOs. And I think that despite the change in regulatory, maybe unforeseen regulatory concerns that have now come, which have now limited their ability to come to that vision, they still cannot get rid of that original 2021, 2022 user base. These are people who bought into what ended up being uh, not something that was possible to do. So I think as long as I think VV just has to come to an, an acceptance that they have this investor user base. And because they have this investor mindset, they think that VV is some publicly traded company that owes them financial statements and owes them guidance and MDAs and all that stuff. So I like I think you just have, I think just answer the questions. And this is the best you're going to be able to do right now because you're not going to get rid of this investment-minded community. Their financial hopes and dreams have been in VV collectibles for years, not to mention the Omi token. So yeah. I think that answers the questions. Yeah, this this here I think is the end of this this post. I think that's what it was made for. It was to kind of give closure and let everybody know, like, look, we're not answering the questions. All right, we're gonna do it when we want to do it. We're not answering that questions. Forget about that post because everybody keeps bringing it up on videos and all this stuff. So like, forget about it. Meant to be to gather data, and that's it. So that's what we're going to tell you guys now. If you ever refer to that post, go check out MC's last post. He's saying they're going to do it when they want. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the main topic of the video now and uh, pivot. It's all very related. Over. It's not a pivot, pivot though. It's we're an gonna extension pivot, though, to a, a different company completely. And Ecomi putting out this tweet. <laughs> Token update. In preparation for a new era of OMI utility, we will be permanently removing the remaining 221 billion OMI tokens in the reserve <coughs> and vault wallets. This will be a multi-stop process. Stay tuned for further news and updates as this is completed. So if you don't remember, initially we had the Pudding Cheeks uh, spreadsheet, which would tell you like anytime that people bought gems, how much of the, of the OMI was moved from this reserve wallet into the vault or whatever it was. It's all done in the background. It's all backing the jam system um, but never in the circulating supply so not really affecting the price of the token in terms of deflationary uh value and all that but uh just something that was built into it and tying omi to vv this here seems to be the end of that uh, connection piece and now um ecomi can act independently because they no longer have the ties of this um this depressed wallet system that 
used to be tied to and back to backing the gems uh, no longer has that operation happening in the background. Uh, and we're seeing, um, we're seeing complete separation and there's been other things that have happened, but Rob, what do you think over here? And then we'll move on. Okay. The first thing that came to mind when I saw this was another step in the full separation between OMI and the VV app because of the regulatory concerns. We know from the Dapper case that you do not want to have a cryptocurrency like flow uh, also connected to any of your platforms or NFT platforms, for example. And that's a big, big no-no because they had to settle because a, a large group of the user base sued them saying that, you know, you guys had too much control over all this. You, 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 you essentially were a common enterprise because we were relying on you as an investment to produce results and to appreciate the value of our assets. I think this is another step in VV separating between what Akomi does, the very different company, as you mentioned, Akomi and VV. They want no connection between the OMI token and the VV app within the VV app. I think we're going to get to something a little bit later, but before I touch on that, there's another benefit for VV here. You can know, I, if I remember correctly, because remember the whole mechanisms We've gone over it so many times, but it's it's kind of off the lead and it's changed so many times. My memory gets fuzzy with what these what the total mechanics are. But we would be able, I think, to figure out primary sales data, like you mentioned about put in cheeks from this. So now VB has the added benefit that nobody can know their primary sales anymore. You, before put in cheeks was able to show and confirm how much money was being bought through gems. So you effectively could figure out their revenue. That's gone now, right? So that that transparency is now gone. So you buy gems. I think what's going to happen is gems are now gems. They're just there's they're not backed by anything. They VV takes the dollars. The buyer gets the gems. There'll be some other mechanisms that they want to do with like OMI to NFT and you know funding different OMI wallets through fees. Um, but at least when you're in the VV app itself, you no longer uh, you no longer need to worry about OMI tokens backing that up. Has nothing to do with value. We've done multiple burn value uh, burn videos on this before, and we talk about meaningfully meaningful burns that are needed uh, for OMI token holders to maybe have some kind of significant uh, aggregate burn that would then bring enough scarcity that could with combination of an increased market cap, uh, give them some kind of profit, right? Because that's what all these OMI tokens holders want. They don't collect OMI. They're here to make money on OMI, right? Because um, there's no utility right now. Um, yeah. So this removal of 221 billion OMI tokens has nothing to do with value. There was a comment there about how they'll never enter circling supply, but they were never supposed to in the first place. Um, so right here, he talked about permanently removing this ensures that they would never be able to enter circling supply. I don't know why he said that. Maybe he thought that at some point they would have to tap into it, but they should have I never think, entered circling supply in the first place. Oh, I think it's going into that burn wallet, right? It's like completely off off course. But anyway, um, yeah, you got to be careful what you're looking at on, on social media right now, because there's been a lot of uh, incorrect statements regarding what this burn means for the token. Um, there's been statements directly stating like, this, this is removing 221 million from the circulating supply, which is not the case. It's not in the circulating supply, this 221 billion. Uh, it's in that in those depressed uh, wallets that were used to back the the uh, the gems there. So it's something that's completely separate and it continues to separate OMI from VV. Now, this is on the hopes and dreams that past occurrences do not impact um, impact whatever judgments the SEC and all of these other regulatory bodies uh, come up with because initially this coin was was sold as one to back the VV gems and market. So uh, <laughs> it was directly correlated. Now they're doing their steps and processes to separate it. Um, how that affects whatever people are looking at it as is still, I think, a gray area up in the air. They kind of started this before any of this uh, regulation was even uh, becoming a thing. So uh, we don't know. Does that mean that they're okay? Does not mean that they're not okay? Um, a lot of the people who are here still were a part of the app when it was backing the VV app. So 
Um, I don't know if that means anything, but it's almost like an ugly scar, like Harry Potter. You know, he got his out by the lightning, whatever it was. He's got that that lightning bolt scar on his forehead. I feel like Omi will always have the VV logo <laughs> somewhere scarred on it or tattooed on it. Um, but uh, <clears throat> it's it, this is something that, I mean, it's just getting more and more um, cluttered or, or uh, foggy. Uh, as well, they continue to separate themselves, they're doing the right things now, right? They're separating themselves how they should be. They've been, been following all of the rules and all the precedents that we've seen, like you mentioned, with Flow and Dapper. So I think they're they're going in the right direction in terms of what they understand now from legal clarity. So that probably will help them in any future uh, instances if that ever does come to light. But um, yeah, it's always going to be uh, that they've pivoted from an original plan uh, so yeah, you got something well, that, to say. It, <laughs> well, I, what I want to add into here is that the only reason why this ever existed in the first place, I think, is because they had intentions. I think they actually did have at one point Omi the NFT in app, yeah. and they had intentions to make Omi the main token of the VV app. So when you have that in mind, you build this ecosystem for Oni with all these wallets and all these mechanisms that are so complicated where you need a diagram to understand it because you want to, you had the intention of making Oni the main currency pretty much. Now, those, those plans are completely out the window. They'll never happen within the VV app itself. It looks like though, that it's going to happen in another fashion. And that's, we have another post. Let's bring it up. Joe. Yeah. And so like, if you don't agree with us that, that the reason this is happening is to separate Ecomi and Omi and Vivi, uh, this, this will put that nail in the coffin for that one. Um, Foster Hill putting this out, talking about the privy wallet on stacker. Obviously there was a, a, a AMA on that and stuff on, on excess the other day, but daily seasonal rewards will transition to a self custody model with your privy wallet on stacker so these are the rewards that you've been getting for having your omi staked on the vv app not only will there be no reason to keep your omi in your vv wallet there will come a time post transition where you will be requested to remove and self-custody it so basically they're saying get your omi off the vv app we're separating completely we're a completely different company we have nothing to do with vv <laughs> anymore um we're just going to be a separate token that once vv has third-party marketplace our token is available to be used to purchase NFTs. Now, I don't know if that means, and this this will be crazy if in the future something other than Omi can be used to purchase the NFTs, because then that kind of like defeats the whole purpose of having Omi as your exclusive token to purchase the NFTs. That's yet to be seen, uh, but I think it's possible if you're now giving all of the reliance to a third party marketplace, but we'll see what happens here. But people will still be welcome to keep their OMI in the IMX ecosystem in another wallet, but they will not be in the self custody of Vivi, Ecomi, and you will not be rewarded for them. So, like, this is the plan. The plan is laid out, and this uh, mo removal of the circular, this uh, 221 billion from this depressed wallet and vault wallet and all this stuff into the burn wallet is just <clears throat> another step in that direction. It's becoming more and more clear of what's happening here. Stacker is going to be the, the only surrogate. Uh, it is going to be the function of only that the VV app was supposed to have. So expect Stacker to be the third party marketplace. Expect Stacker to be the place where you stake your OMI to get MCP points. Expect Stacker to be everything related to OMI. Now, what's concerning to me is that Vivi's been making promises, or should I say, Akomi's been making promises about only token utility for a very long time. And it just seems to me that Stacker just kind of came in last minute here with a proposal that they'll do it for them. And Omi basically, or, or Vivi or Akomi was kind of like, you know what? Yeah, just do it. Like, it just almost like they changed direction on the whim. I don't like that. I like it seeing a company plan so far in advance thinking of all the of all the risks that may come in the future so that they don't need to change direction the way that they did and i'm not against changing direction in a little bit but i feel like that's a drastic change having a third party app run by owned by dr profit basically become the main key only conduit for the vv app and i think they're doing it for good reasons which is the regulatory concerns but at the same time I also question why management can just change direction so easily after all this time of making these promises, 
to then saying the third parties to do it. And I, we don't even know how it's going to look yet, right? Like I'm speaking right now without, with not, with no inside knowledge, guys like Foster, guys that work at the company, they, they know what Stacker is going to be doing. I'm just saying based on the things that they've said, I'm assuming they're going to do the same things. So Stacker will be all of your OMI NFT. It's going to be your whole OMI utility program. Remember that different staking tiers. Remember breaking them, you have to pay a fee. There was this whole network of burning OMI. I'm assuming Stacker is going to take that on in a similar capacity, but it may not. It may end up being synergies with yeah. the MCP program, right? Like, I don't know what it's going to end up being or what's going to end up landing. But I know that, and we know that VV doesn't have a plan or a roadmap or a direct line of sight and things are kind of all over the place and they're going to update us when they're ready, right? Um I feel like Omi has that plan though now. Like I feel like they know what they want to yeah. do and where they want to go. But I feel like now they should be releasing a roadmap and let us like why would they not be doing that unless they feel like maybe there's going to be more changes to come on certain things. But I feel like now you kind of got your lane. Everybody's kind of seeing it come together. It's exciting for the community. It's exciting for token holders to understand, even if it's your third time or your fourth time with a roadmap. It's exciting for people to understand that you do have a plan and that you know where you're going with this and what you expect in the future from all of it. Um, it looks like it's there. I think uh, Omi is positioned now to be able to have that type of communication, whereas VV, I don't know if they are positioned. We don't know how their development of VVverse. We don't know how their development of other things that people want is. So uh, I feel like maybe now Omi looks like they got they got Stacker on board to help uh, facilitate uh, and they got kind of a plan we're starting to see foster's comments about how uh things are going to be happening this one here in particular about uh how omi is going to be coming out of the vv wallets and into the privy wallet um i think it's time i think it's time omi get your get your community excited start to let people know uh the grand plans other than in twitter replies uh just come out have a full-blown this is the new new direction uh this is what we're doing kind of similar to what you did with the red circles i get it it's a meme but at the same time, like very exciting times when you did have those types of announcements and uh, people had something to look forward to. So I hope that you guys do do something for that, especially since it looks like you guys are going uh, in a direction in a straight line now. I actually agree with you 100 percent on that. And it's becoming clear where Omi is going to go and how it's going to be facilitated and where it's going to be. Maybe they just can't make a promise on timelines, which they shouldn't. Anyways, they've been burned many times before. Just no timelines. But I think they know exactly what they want to do with Omi. They want to know how it's going to operate within Stack or how it's going to link to the VV app. They have this plan, I think, already sorted, sorted and organized. They can release that plan. I think people at this point understand timelines cannot be given. I mean, they know that timelines or red at circles. this point. Yeah, red circles <laughs> are, don't even bother. Just, just a listed bullet points of what's going to actually happen. Yeah. And maybe, it, especially because Stack is a third party, that you have to rely on their timelines. So it's better. You just don't, you just don't give a timeline. Um, so I think today was a pretty interesting video. I think a lot of, a lot of history in this video, a lot of us just talking off a of memory from things we've picked up along the way. Um, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, what do you guys think about, uh, VV distancing themselves from the Omi token entirely, uh, VV severing ties, if you want to call it that. Um, also, what do you guys think about, uh, the post with my collectible saying that they're not going to answer the questions. Uh, what do you guys think about um, what Foster said at the end there about how you, there'll be no purpose of having it through the Omi app anymore? Are you, are you cool with the third party doing this? Do you think the third party is going to be a better maybe than having a VV app? Uh, let us know in the comments below if you haven't already. Don't forget, come on, superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the Superstar fam, hit the bell notification every single video, every single video. Thank you to all our VIPs, guys. Take care. See you next one. Bye bye. Love you. Bye.